will do. Tis the season to be jarly, walla walla Washington and hullabaloo. Don we now archaic barrel. Okay, so welcome my friends to another episode of 3D Oh No. That's right, I stuck with us enough to do a second one. Uh, I am Trey Dorn. This is an ongoing se Let's Play series in which I pick up a 3DO game and play it, having never researched the game, know anything about the game, just pick it up flat. Uh, these games were sent to me by uh, Vinca Famicom Dojo. For those of you who don't know, like eight years ago I did a 3DO review series. I love the 3DO. Uh, actually finding games I don't know anything about is actually a challenge, but... Uh, uh, so eventually this series will hit games I actually do know some things about. But uh, we're starting out with games that uh, I don't know what the heck is going on. Um, all the games I have lined up for the series are uh, imports. <laughs> so um, there's an ongoing problem of I don't speak Japanese. So even if these games came out in the U.S., I, I don't have the U.S. versions. Um and the other thing that you should keep in mind is that I have not picked up a video... Before doing the series, I had not picked up a video game controller since, like, 2009. So... Yeah. I'm I'm not going to be good. This is, this is all going to be terrible. When I uh, record these, I do live stream them on the Nerd and Tie Ustream channel, but uh, I don't tell anyone ahead of time. I like to do things without warning, so hardly anyone's probably watching the live stream. And I don't have the chat up, so uh, you're probably watching this on YouTube. And uh, more power to you. So uh, the game we are playing is actually not one out of the most recent batch that Vink sent me, uh, but one he sent me years ago, uh, Vink of Famicom Dojo sent me years ago, to review on 3DO to go that I never got around to. And that is uh, Theater Wars, uh, Garaku no Dendo, um, I think is what it's called. And that is literally everything I know about it because, uh, again, I didn't get to this when I was doing in-depth reviews. And again, when I did reviews, I did research. I knew everything about the game. I played it for hours and hours and hours. This is a, I'm about to put this disc in my 3DO. I'm in my actual 3DO right here. And uh, we're going to find out what happens. So with that, it's a... all go on a ride together. Oh, the exciting treat of how long it takes a 3DO to recognize that a game has been inserted. Again, I don't bother doing these in HD because uh, this is a standard definition system. You know, so I'm just using S video is gonna be the best signal I get out of these things anyways. Theater Wars. Garaku no Dendo. I used to do theater. My whole apartment right now smells like gingerbread cookies because my uh my wife's been uh, making Christmas cookies today. And it is amazing. Hamlet. I'm awake. Ah, uh, lovely. You know, it's every 3DO game has to start out with a uh, low-resolution, uh, poorly rendered CGI scene. Just standard. In the year 2050, everything was suddenly rendered low polygon count, and the world scrolled by behind pre-rendered scenes of cities. Doomed. Doomed, it seemed. Yeah, I like to make up the new stories when I don't know what's going on. Wait, it, name of the game. In 2050, the world is ruled by the theater wars. That is a. I used to do high school theater. I was a I was a big theater guy. I, I played Alfie Doolittle in My Fair Lady. Now I'm loading. I love 
single seed CD ROMs, man, they are um very good at taking forever to load. And you can't hear it uh, because it's not picked up by the mic, but that drive is always so loud. Uh, Okay. 46. Like, I'm just seeing numbers and words. It's very meaningful to people who speak Japanese, I'm sure. And uh, due to feedback from last episode, I moved my box off to the side and recentered and took advantage of the fact that I'm shooting this in 16 by 9 Oh, I have a choice. I wonder if it's just telling me that my, like, 3D... Oh, is, is my 3D O full or something? I don't know. Uh... You know, this is the point of the show in which everything falls apart because I don't speak Japanese. Is this telling me I need to open up a memory manager and delete files? Is this... Montana Jones did something weird to me with my memory card stuff, too. If I have to close down this show and start shooting all from the top, I'm going to be severely annoyed. See, what we did there last time was we hit A. There was a choice to do something else. And it might have been the right choice. The show may become, watch Trey figure out how to use a Japanese 3DO game. That wasn't the that wasn't the kanji support screen because that always happens early. So I know this isn't one of the games that doesn't work on an American 3DO because I have an American 3DO, and that is why I have a very useless copy of Sword and Sorcery sitting in um in a closet because <laughs> uh it's the Japanese version obviously because it's called Sword and Sorcery and uh, you can go look that up if you want to know the English title. All right. All right. We will uh, move on from that embarrassment. And in in an ideal world, I would edit it right there, but I think it's uh, funnier to know that I'm so incompetent that uh, I, I just... Yeah, so I got story mode and construction. Let's try story mode. It was probably telling me I couldn't save because my memory's full or something. I need to... Like, Montana Jones took up five memory slots in that, on my system. I got, like... Again, we saw that same spaceship fly towards that same city in the earlier scene. I'm not kidding. Ah, the atmosphere transmission. For transmitting your atmosphere all over the place. And of course, uh, is that something house? Oh my god, that is horrifying. That is a, like, clown robot coming to kill me. All right. Century Theater presents Everything is Wrong. (coughs) Again, if you speak Japanese, this is all very helpful right here. Uh... uh. I'll leave it up long enough, though, so for you, those of you who do speak Japanese can tell me what's going on in the comments or something. Ah, 12 
23. I'm recording this, um, like, that's actually not that, it's like, the 23rd is Friday, it's right now the 21st when I'm recording this, and, uh, so it's, but it's not 2050, it's 2016, when I record this. All right, robot. I learned nothing. Ah, the, the ground didn't move in that first beginning of that pre-render. I'm assuming there's gameplay at some point. Good to see the master control program is now working as a greeter for a theater. At least he was in the 90s. Yeesh. Ah! That is a prominent cross. So the religious right wants me to do something. I say that because he's got a big cross and he's on the right side of my screen. Ah, yes, here is where you, as an emotions, control this small person, this young person. I get to be joy. No, um. Okay. Do something with the thing, and then with the other thing, do a different thing. This thing does something else. What? If you spoke Japanese, you would know. This is an argument for why I need to become bilingual. This is... This whole show is because Vink thinks I need to learn another language. The problem is I'm not going to. Okay, so... Like, I think these are, like, back... Like, so the first one I think is performers, then scenery, and then backdrop... Or, pro like, 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 the first one is performers, the next one's backdrops, next one is, like, physical scenery. And I, I, I can't tell what this is. It's like a megaphone. So I think I must be, oh, and then there's another option there. That's not helpful. Or curtains. All right. And then, so I'm assuming I'm running a theater company and that everyone will die in the theater wars. I, and I'm going to war with other theaters and I, I just need to balance money. Great. This is, it's going to be Paddock Note 95 all over again is what this is. Like Montana Jones, I figured out how to play from context. I was also a children's game. This appears to be a sim. A theater sim. I was hoping, like, I could have, like, a giant robot globe theater, like, pull itself up and then fight, you know, other people's theaters. Oh, so you were just showing me the controls for no reason, and now we're going elsewhere in the building. I have done no gameplay yet. We are 15 minutes into this video, and I have done no gameplay. Everything is terrible in this game. Oh, everything is sort of really lame. Pan around this stupid view. This tiny theater just got you. And now we went down the hall and found the restrooms. And we're going into the booth and I'll do what I will do. I'm now loading. Wow, two load screens for the price of seven. Oh, stage press.
Okay, there we go. Oh, I'm getting a call. Hey, dude, what's up? The religious right wants me to do something? I don't know. That's that's what I'm calling him. He's religious right. Because always on the right side of my screen, he's got a big honking cross. And I know that's not creative. And I know he's, like, I could come up with something better, but, like, what? The Joker's tailor? I mean, like... Ah! That is horrifying. I can build that. That's what I'm... I'm... I can't do anything. Wait, so... Okay, so I've got a hundred units of currency for this game. I can look at the paper, I can look at my cash box, I can look at the phone, and I can leave the room. Please wait, that's in English. And loading is in English. All right, I got 500. And a keyboard. Why do I have a, am I the band? All right. Stop smoking. Kids watching. I'm assuming these are different performers I can hire. And I'm assuming the m unit there is the cost, so... Yeah. Great, I don't... Alright, so I got some actors. I got some actors and on my stage. They're gonna do shit and it's all the rage. They're gonna dance in some pants. I got the king of comedy behind me. I got this lovely grass path. Let's do that. We're in a meadow. Yeah. Let's put some scenery in here, man. I patch McGee. Do 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 do. Ba, ba, da, ba, da, ba, da, da, da. I got some stuff to put on the stage. It costs money, but it's the rage that it's true. That's what I like about you. I got some mushrooms. Ooh 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 ooh. I'm gonna play the music. I think. Oh, yeah, it's totally music. All right. Let's hear this shit, yo. Oh yeah. I got music. Let's watch what I just did. Oh God. It's gonna show me. This is the latest uh, new music video for Lady Gaga. Bah, 
Let's look at this dude. Look at this dude. Let's highlight this dude. Then there's this dude. Now the lady. She's so low poly you can't tell. I don't I don't know what to do now. Do they just keep going? I can zoom in. Does it just keep going? Oh no, it doesn't just keep going. Good. It finally ended. Sweet Jesus. Okay. I don't know why I'm checking in with these people. I don't speak Japanese, so I'm gonna like... I'm a horrifying machine. Why do I bother looking at that? What's, what's in the box? What's in the box? What's in the box? 112. So that went up. I'm doing something. Whether I'm doing it well or doing it poorly, I don't know, but I'm doing something. All right. Let's grab these people who appear to be dabbing. Come on, eye patch McGee. Let's give these people a good backdrop. Got a live in my soul. I'm on fire with my heart already told. I got the world on the string and I'm gonna burn it down. I'm gonna do my thing. I gotta breathe. I gotta bleed. Let's hear this. Mm -hmm. Nah. Let's do some creeper. I'm in the public domain. I'm in the public domain. I wonder if that'll get me copyright flagged by some scammer using public domain songs. I like this. This sounds like the most incongruous thing. What does that do? I hit a button. Oh, that leaves the office. That that goes back to the office. It doesn't put the show on. All right. Well, we're gonna put on a show, yo. I like the you know very fancy alarm for putting on shows. 
So you'll start out dabbing. gonna just this one she's the only one worth it and all my hula dancers which is apparently what these are which I want to point out I could not tell they were hula dancers until they started dancing because even though I can assume those are grass skirts these are so low res and low poly that uh, wave solo everyone look at the waves can't get out of this scene until it finishes on its own I gotta keep watching it and I just can't go home it's a love story between the dancer on the far left and the waves that's, that's art never ask a dancer how their feet are it's just a mistake Oh, look at me. Bigger numbers are bigger. I don't know what that means, but we're going to find out what the numbers. That was a higher cost show to put on, though. Like, oh, but that numbers go up. None of this means anything to me. All right, so I'm just going to look at my cash. I'm not going to talk to... Oh, good. It's going up. Like, I got all these guys on the phone I could talk to and get advice from. But because I don't speak Japanese, it will do me no good. So as far as I can tell, the best thing for me to do is just put on the weird garbage shows. <laughs> This whole game is about trying to do crap, as far as I can tell. Put the shit together, and it's kind of swell. Ooh, Alice in Wonderland. There we go. Let's do an Art Nouveau version of Alice in Wonderland, man. Where we instead, and stay with me here. We were to set it not in Wonderland, which is which is what people expect. You know what I mean? Like they're expecting Wonderland. Let's do a new interpretation. Like let's let's set Alice in Wonderland Japan and make it a commentary about American colonialism and imperialism in the uh, 18th century, 18th and 19th centuries. 19th century because there was no um i mean tech th there was no united states in most of the 18th century just like a little tiny little bit at the end and the constitution that formed the current modern federal government didn't go into anyways the world's gonna collapse the world's gonna fail but it's it's not just Japan, but it's a desert in Japan. Oh my god, I love it. I love it. What can we do music-wise here? All right, all right. Music person who also has apparently a smoker. Let's do something truly, truly outrageous. Do we have anything from Gem and the Holograms? That goes, that's a little too on, like, on the nose. Okay, that's the... This is called Wonderland, so... Screw that. Nothing called one. Cir like a commentary on, like, the circus? I would not describe this as circus. I mean, kind of... Primitive Techno did that. Sweeping drum.
Ba da 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 da. Like, so the Western setting with Japan is kind of like a play on how. On how most uh, most uh, westerns are rip off, a lot of westerns are rip off of uh, samurai film. Yeah, anti noise laws. Let's do that. And this is this is modern art, folks. This is a commentary using Alice in Wonderland about American imperialism using a uh, pseudo western. Uh, elements in a Japanese backdrop referencing of course the like samurai films like um ma like Magnificent Seven ripping off Kurosawa's Seven Samurai Man ah, doo -doo 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 -doo. let's look at the March Hare Man Mad Hatter's getting into it Alice is forcing her way into Japan the way the Americans forced their way into Japan. You see, this is like she showed up in their harbor, man, and said, let me join your tea party, partner. Or else I want to be really... So this is... This is... It's important for the theater to be political. And I think that... I think that's very true. And amazing. All right, so let's. Wow. <laughs> the fake people did not like that one as much. You see, this is the problem when you get too political in your art. Uh, it scares people, and they are just not ready for it. You know, it's like. When you try to be progressive, man. Oh, shit. <laughs> I lost a lot of money there. So I'm betting if I look at my cash, but oh, God. Well, that was a mistake. Uh,. People did not like my radical interpretations of, uh, you know, I, just, I I know I can be a little too edgy, and uh, the theater-going crowd is just not ready for it, man. I think we need to be conservative now and at least try to save some money. Dude on a stair, kind of unprepared. What's the cheapest shit I can afford? Screw it. You know what? If they're not ready for me, culture can get ready for me, man. doing creative things man and if those audiences don't appreciate it well I'm sorry this is art and you don't compromise art look at that shit that shit's amazing 
it it's really not oh my god it's so terrible It's the whole thing. This whole game is just pick things and hope they are alike. Like, I'm sure that, like, I can gauge... You know, okay, so here's the thing. I'm betting that, like, all these newspaper articles are like, uh, oh, audiences seem really interested in X kind of show. And, you know, I have theme park. Oh, God. You know, imagine how hard this, like, in Japanese... Techno! I don't know why I said techno while flashing the lights. I guess strobe would be a more appropriate. And now the star, the ball. I'm glad someone clapped. I sure didn't. Oh, God. That is, uh, not a good sign. But hey, we were profitable. Folks, I want to point out that sometimes, as long as you make a little bit of money, it's still not real money. It went up. I'm just saying, man, like, let's just, I wonder what the most expensive thing is on all of these. I mean, like, I know that the, so I've already, like, It's unintuitive, by the way. So I hit one direction, and it rotates the cube that way instead of going to the, like, the direction. So I know I already did um, these guys. They're 260. Uh, 30, 150. Okay, so it's, these are 120. That clown is terrifying. Give him a... Hey, Patchy. What can we do here? There. That's obnoxious. People like obnoxious shit. We've reached the point of the game where it starts playing here. Weird ball things. I really like anti-noise law system. I think that'd be that's a great name. I even give him circus music, man. Let's do this. All right, I think this will be the last one I do here. Now you think it's gonna be a straightforward circus show, right? You know, zoom in here. Look at that. I'm happy circus guy. But we don't know. So we're gonna we're not even gonna highlight the props of the set. We're gonna highlight this empty corner for the entirety of this guy's show. And you're always gonna say, Hey, who's coming in? Who's the person who is uh coming in to uh join the cast? Like who are we waiting for? No, no, the secret is it's the Invisible Man. This is the Invisible Man show. We're watching the Invisible Man dance, and this clown just got up on stage for no reason. This game is really boring, and this game is really dumb. If I knew how to speak Japanese, I'd have more fun. But because I can't, and I just have to guess, I can't read the trends or guess how to make money better than... So I'm just hitting buttons and watching these stupid shows that you cannot skip. You have to watch the whole thing every time. And oh my God, it's frustrating. I gotta keep watching this stupid clown. Sorry. I love you all. Aww. 
Oh, you love that shit, don't you? You love it. I think the reason they loved it was because my avant-garde highlighting of the empty space in the corner, which represents the empty space in our soul, in all of us. Like, that is the part of us that is missing. I think that you get better scores if you do things that go together versus, like, doing things that are counterpoints. Like, that else in one... Like, I literally threw together every genre I could, and it did awfully, and I lost all this money. And... Oh, look at that. All right. I went out on a win. What do they say? They said they love... I don't know what they said. I don't speak Japanese. What are the other guys doing? I don't know. What, what am I doing? I don't know. It's useful. What's in my cash box? More money, more money. Yeah. That is what I am talking about. Well, click NTNT here. Yo, yo, Tanaka Doken, tell me what you think. Holla at me, Tanaka. What's that? You love everything I'm doing? I don't know. Maybe, or you hate it. Bulb Lease. Bulb Lease, this terrifying demon robot, Bulb Lease. Like, what? In the Century Theater, where I, in theory, am. Ah, religious right. How you doing? You uh, digging me? Okay, so with that, we I think that is a good place to run away screaming from this video game. Uh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> this has been uh, Theater Wars. <laughs> Uh, Garaku no Dendo. Um, I think that opening screen was telling me that I didn't have enough memory to save my game, maybe? I don't know. I gotta go open up a memory manager and take a look, because I think, uh, I think I like them. I think there are save files on this 3DO from the previous owner. And I bought this thing in, like, 2001. So. Yeah. So I think it's cluttered. Also, like, Montana Jones takes up, like, five slots. Five or six slots in there. It's a ridiculously huge game for a really dumb thing. Um, yeah. But anyway, so that's uh, that's a good place to wrap things up uh, for Theater Wars. Uh, Garaku no Dendo. Um, I'm probably saying that wrong, but I don't care because it is a game that I'll never play again. Uh, my final thoughts about it is that the, the, maybe the Sims a little bit more fun if you can, uh, read the trends and figure out like the best profitable strategy. Like I was just literally guessing about what to put together on stage, but let me tell you something, no matter what, this game is going to be annoying as heck to play because every time you put on a show, you have to watch the show and it's not like funny it's like there are 3do games where like they have funny fmv scenes or like like but no this is it's like if someone took the like you direct the video games from the sega cd like the crisscross thing and said hey Let's take out all the entertaining value of the original property and just put in all of the stupid slapdash shit and then do that for, like, ever. You know, I promise this wasn't a review show, but I will say this game, like, not even a good sim because, again, the gameplay is wholly unenjoyable because, again, you have to sit there and watch every stupid thing. Anyways, with that, I am Trey Dorn. Thank you for watching another episode of 3DO Now. And, uh, yeah, go uh, have a happy holidays, folks. It's Yule. Happy Yule. Although I'm probably uploading this tomorrow when it's not Yule anymore. Crap. That worked out for everybody. <laughs>